never a problem with everyone else, though. We've been waiting for you. Wow, you live here? Whoa. Oh my. Russia go soldiers. Wait. Was that? Have our guests departed? <laughs> oh. Welcome back. Brought your friends, I see. Klein, let me introduce you. Oh, um, I never got their names. I hear you came to my sister's aid. I'm Klein Cheryl. I'm Drissel's older brother, as you've no doubt guessed. Yeah, I guess Lord Klein is the governor here in Sherylton. Really? How rude of us to keep you waiting outside. Please, let's continue our conversation in comfort. Like how everybody's clothes are just blowing in the wind. Aww, she looks so cute. I see. So you protected my sister from wasting her money on worthless trinkets again. It's not worthless. Besides, I got a good deal and made some new friends in the bargain. Wahey! <laughs> Rowan, please look after our guests. It would be my pleasure, sir. You're only too young to be governor. I have some matters to attend to, if you will excuse me. No matter what I say, I've got to run too. Huh? Nature calls. I better leave now before things get messy. <laughs> so you're on some great journey, right? You simply must tell me all about your travels. Mm, well, um... I've never even been out of this town. I want to hear all about the faraway places you've been. I've never been outside either. But then... Ellie became pals with Jude and everyone! We crossed mighty oceans and explored forbidden forests! We saw giant waves and toadstools that made everyone cry! You actually sailed across the sea, Ellie? I've never even seen the sea before. What was it like? It's vast and wild, teeming with dangerous creatures. There are giant octopuses pretending to be rocks. Rock octopuses? You don't say! And fish and eels and clams. Oh, I've seen clams. Uh, the shells anyway. They sell shell jewelry in the shops in the plaza. It's all so gorgeous. That sounds really nice. I'll give you one of my favorite pieces as a present next time. As a token of our friendship. Icky clams turned into pretty jewelry? This I gotta see! So giving presents is a way to establish friendship? Uh, why yes. To the giver, a present is a symbol of trust. To the receiver, a present serves as a warm reminder of our friendship. And getting stuff for free doesn't stink either. I see. <laughs> it would appear my young mistress has made some very good friends. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to tea and treats. Want some cookies? I 
got some damn white water. You probably water or something. Oh, those? Yeah. That's why I'll spark on the floor. Whee! Aww. Do I want to go in? Got a bird in his room. Yeah, he sure do. Oh god, no, I'm gonna be red. Where's the big old place? They got a small room. Yeah, well, it's big bed. At least that bed looked like it can fit. Like those other people, they yeah, have those small rooms. So I got, like, a lot of furniture in your room. You're absolutely adorable, I said, but Tipo, Tipo is way too cute. Of course, I can't help but wonder how a stuffed animal learned to talk. <laughs> Jim and I are going out later to look at a cute accessories together. Hmm? You certainly seem in good spirits. I am. Look how happy Elise is. It's a real relief. She's been through so much lately. So have you, especially considering how much you obsess over the well-being of others. I'm feeling pretty good. We've finally gotten a little downtime, and the refreshments were great. I see. I'm glad to hear it. But we can't get too comfortable, I suppose. Correct. If he's the governor, that makes him nobility. His manor isn't the smartest place to relax. I feel sorry for Elise, but we can't stay here long. I have been in the service of Lord Klein for about two years now. He is a fine ruler, despite his youth. He believes in freedom and equality for his people. If he has any real flaw, it's that he spoils Lady Dressel too much. <laughs> Klein? Why the unfriendly face? I'm afraid I can't permit you to leave just yet, now that I know it was you who infiltrated the laboratory in Fenmont. What are you talking about? Save your denials. Alvin told me everything. He did what? Now what? Will you hand us over to the military? No. I want to know what you saw in that facility. Rashigal has undergone dramatic changes ever since Noctigal exceeded the throne. Even those of us in the six ruling houses are not told of his activities. The military is holding people captive and draining their mana to develop a new weapon. Human experimentation? He would go that far? I'd like to believe you're lying, but all the pieces fit. So Nautical is the man behind the experiments? The King of Rashigal? He would have to be. <sighs> it's hardly hospitable to keep Drissel's friends captive in our home. But you must leave this city at once. Thank you, Lord Klein. Let us go. Yep, sure did. Oh, she's probably like boo hoo.
Oh, time to get out. I like how calmly she went back to her thing there. Trissel's house sure is huge. Yeah, this might be bigger than my entire school. Oh my god, really? There's a bunch of kids in Sheraton's Plaza. Looks like some of them are your age. Why not try to talk to them? Oh, it's not shiny. Oh, it was a gold. Oh, what gold? I truly admire the dedication of these sentries to their mission, but if they stand in my way, I will have no choice but to cut them down. Governor of the city is such a wonderful man. Not only does his, he personalize, personally visit the local bear to buy cakes, he even knows the names of everyone who works there. <laughs> oh, Lord, please. Oh, no. He has stalkers. I'll probably be a stalker, too. We got stalkers. He was so pink and cute. Super cute! I've never seen anything so pink before! Super never! Super nerder! What's she doing? What is it? I was just wondering... What the heck are they talking about? You don't have to be scared. They're just children. Go on and ask them. you're talking about you are spying on us we have nothing to say to spies super nothing just give us a quick peek whoa that weird thing talked what is it like super weird he's not weird he's tipo tipo well whatever i'm still not going to show the cute pink thing to someone like you fine ah uh, fooey but if you can show us that you love the color pink and prove you're a true pinkist, I may consider it. Prove I'm a pinkist? How? By bringing us super rare things that are pink. For example, start with the peach berry blossom. Bring us one of those, then we'll talk. <laughs> we'll super talk! Why are they making little girls sound like a little teenage girl? Oh my god! Oh my god, that's how we gotta look for us all. Oh, flower now? Hey, scary man took my mommy away. Oh, they did? I wonder where we can find a freaking flower at.
How much did Klein pay you to sell us out? Sell you out? Such an ugly phrase. Money isn't the only currency, you know. It's no secret that Lord Klein is unhappy with the current government. If we want info, we have to give some in return. It's called a trade. I told him what I know, and he gave you some juicy info in return, right? King Nautical of Rashigol is the man responsible for everything. So long as he remains alive, he could construct a second or third Lance of Kresnik. You're going to assassinate the king? What choice do I have? I can't allow him to continue, even if his death throws your country into chaos. I suppose it's the lesser of two evils. We can't let him keep sacrificing innocent people for their mana. Hey, you're the people from the Wanted poster! Whoops. I suppose strolling about wasn't the smartest idea. Mm. Wind from the southwest. Two meters per second. A nice breeze. What are you doing here? Please, allow me to handle this. Hey, Gramps. Step out of the way before you break a hip. <gasps> Oh dear me. What a fearsome trio. A bit on the sloppy side, though. You two in the rear. Isn't your formation a little wide? If you stand so far apart, how will you help your comrades in a moment of crisis? Shut up! Like we need your tactical advice. And you, good sir, aren't you standing a little too far forward? From there, you might be able to catch me. But the good people behind me, on the other hand... Hmm. There's a good soldier. Yeah, what the? Now, if you'll excuse me. Everyone, please follow me. What's up, man? That was awesome. <laughs> sure is stupid.